Hi, this is Josh with Eagle Eye Power Solutions. This video is a quick tutorial showing how to connect load bank DACs to your battery bank system. Depending on the size of your battery system and the cell voltages, you will either need 3 lead or 7 lead cables to connect the DACs to your system. Systems with cell voltages of 1.2 or 2 volts will use 7 lead cables, while systems with cell voltages of 6 or 12 volts will use 3 lead cables. The number of DACs needed for your system depends on the overall system voltage. For this video, I will be connecting two DACs using 7 lead cables onto a 48 volt system with 2 volt cells. Begin by connecting your first 7 lead cable with the red connector labeled number 1 to the first group of cells. Connect the negative clamp and the first positive clamp to the terminals of the first cell. Then connect the rest of the positive clamps to the remaining cell's terminals. It is important to note that you should always make the first connection at the most negative terminal of the system. Then, use the 7 lead cable with the black connector, label number 2, to connect to the next group of cells. Do this in the same manner as the first group. These first two groups of cells will connect to the first DAC module. Now you can continue connecting your 7 lead cables to the rest of the system. Always connect the cable labeled number 1 to the first group of cells in the series, and the cable labeled number 2 to the second group. Do this until you reach the last cell of the system, which has the system's most positive terminal. Once all the cell connections are made, you can then begin to connect the DAC modules. Take your first DAC module, labeled DAC1, and connect it to the first pair of 7 lead cables that you connected to the system. Match the red cable labeled number 1 with port number 1 on the DAC. Then match the black cable labeled number 2 with port number 2. If all connections were made properly, the DAC will start flashing a green light, which indicates it is powered and ready to go. Now continue to connect all other DACs needed for your system in the same manner. For this system, only two DAC modules are needed. Depending on the size of your system, you may have more to connect. Always make sure that the green indicator light is flashing so that you know that the DAC is powered. The last step is to wirelessly connect your DACs to your load bank and to the COM terminal. There are two antennas for wireless communication. One of them attaches to the top of your load bank and the other attaches to the COM terminal as shown here. Once you have attached antennas to both, you can plug the COM terminal into your PC using a USB to RS-232 cable. When you power the COM terminal on, you will be ready to perform and monitor a discharge test with DACs. For more tutorial videos, visit our website at eepowersolutions.com.